What's up guys, the Soldier Rules here today and I'm going to show you guys how to properly package up an item to ship on eBay. So stick around, I'll show you guys that. I have a couple other quick news things to talk about and well, let's have some fun. <laughs> All right, so today, you guys, I have to, I recently got this in the mail. Uh, this is part of my uh, retail arbitrage sale or purchase on uh, Kohl's, Kohl's.com. So this is what it is. It's a NFL Denver Broncos 3D puzzle. It's new. Uh, the tape's kind of messed up on there, but you can see it's new and sealed. Sealed on that side, too. Uh, it's got some minor kind of issues on it from shipping. See, there's a little denting there. But other than that, it's been really good. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how I ship my stuff when I send it out. What I do is I prepackage all this stuff. So all like when it sells on eBay, all I have to do is just kind of, you know, like put the the label or the address on it and take it right to the post office and get it out in the mail. Okay, so the first thing I do, I usually take a little card like this. Um, I use two of these, one to write a little note and one for the inside of the um, or the outside of the package so I could actually write what it is. So this one, I'm gonna write, I don't really wanna write on this, but I don't have a choice. All right, I'll just write thank you. And my name. All right, so there's that. And also I have some uh, fragile stickers and some thank you for your order stickers or thank you for your purchase. I don't remember what it said exactly, but I have those coming in the mail. So it is what it is. I mean, with everything that's going on, shipping has been kind of real wonky. So I'll get them eventually. I mean, I, it was free shipping, so I can't really complain. All right, so there's that. I'm going to put that to the side for now. And then on this, I'm going to put what the, the title of this is. Just so I could store it and have it ready to rock and roll. Denver Broncos puzzle. Alright, so my writing is kind of crappy, but whatever. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this nifty little bubble wrap. And we're going to cut out a little piece of it. I have more of this as well. Uh, we're going to make sure it fits, and screw it, I'll just use the whole thing. Okay, so what I do is, fix this a little bit, so you guys can see a little bit better. Move you up closer. Better or worse? Uh, there we go, that's better. Okay, so, take this bubble wrap. Uh, I need my tape. Give me one second. Okay, got my tape, ready to go. Okay, take my tape and fold it like this. You're, you kind of want to do it to where, I mean, some people say not to add tape, but I'm going to add tape because I don't care. And I'd rather this get to the customer safely, and I'm sure they'd agree. Now, this you can cut this off, this tape off. I've seen it happen. Uh, okay, this is a little bit short, so what I'm going to do is just take a piece like this. And then do a little of this. Fold this here. It also helps with the... Make it look a little bit more professional when you do this. Uh, that's not going to... Okay, that's going to be a little 
weird. All right, so basically what I did, I'm not going to tape these back, but what I did was I taped this end. It's not going to focus. I taped this end and then the front. Okay, so it's all nice and taped up. Now we're going to put it in here. Now, as you can see, this, it was kind of weird. So there's a hole in it. But what I'm going to do, we could fix that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in here. Fold it this way. And then, kind of get this bad boy this way. And... this way and actually that's kind of ripped there so I need to fold it a little bit better actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this first and we're going to form this to where it actually looks good because I don't want this overlap here so we're going to do that. Sorry it's taking so long, but okay. So now we have a nice big space to work with. Okay, so now we fold it. What you're going to do is you're going to do it like a like a Christmas present kind of. Oh, I want that rip part to be in a different area. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Fold it like that. some tape there now I'm gonna fold this over and it's already starting to move so I'm fold this like this fold this over take that now it doesn't have to be perfect you just want to make sure that you get it taped closed and which is what I'm doing now fold these in fold them to the top here uh, I don't like piece hanging off here pull this bad boy off okay so I'll tape this do that. And there's some people probably watching this and saying that I'm wasting tape, but it's all good. Okay. Tape that over. One more for good measure. And there you go. Put my nifty little label on it. And I actually put a piece of tape on this too because I don't want to lose this. And there you go. Okay, so there's that. Taped on the bottom. taped on the top right here and that's all all right so um, 
last thing I wanted to quickly update you guys I did some purchasing over these last couple days and I went to on eBay did some auction stuff and that was fun now I love being able to help out fellow fellow sellers especially during this time so I got a couple things I'm not going to really talk about now but I got a few things upcoming that I'll be talking about in future videos but I got some good deals so we're gonna check those out very soon I'm gonna link below my uh, the link to the Denver Broncos uh, puzzle and also I'm doing a giveaway on my other one of my other videos and I'll link that below it's for a Joker DVD free shipping as long as you're a US uh, subscriber you have to be a subscriber and that's pretty much it guys so uh, we're at around 11 minutes so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this off and thanks for watching you guys I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy and I'll see you on the next one Thank you.